Let us look at the perpendicular lines and parallel lines. Now, if we have two lines, one like this and one like this. Now, if these lines are parallel, what that means is that no matter how you extend them, you could extend them on and on and on for miles and kilometers, they will never get nearer nor further from each other. In other words, they will never meet. So when that is the case, you say they are parallel, parallel lines. They never meet no matter how much you extend them, right? The other thing you can consider is that the gradients must be the same. We've done gradient before in an earlier video. Let's look at it again. If you form a right angle triangle between two points, and one and you form a right angle triangle between two points on the other if you measure the height of the right angle triangle which we call the rise and the width which we call the run right and if you compare the rise divided by the run for this line and the rise divided by the run for this line and it's the same then what you have are two parallel lines right for example if this rise is divided by this run is say 1.5 and this rise divided by this run is also 1.5. Then those two lines are parallel. Now, we look at the perpendicular lines. Let me erase these and look at the perpendicular lines. Suppose you have two lines. Let me draw a horizontal and a vertical line for now. And they meet like this at 90 degrees. You see they are perpendicular, right? So these lines are perpendicular. Remember these lines here? These are parallel. They have the same gradients. And no matter how much you extend them, they will never get closer or further. But in this case, these lines are perpendicular lines because they meet at 90 degrees, right? Now, if I erase these and draw two other lines like this, And these are perpendicular lines. They meet at 90 degrees. And remember the little box here in the corner that's used to show 90 degrees. When you see that, it means 90 degrees, right? If you should measure the rise over run for this and the rise over run for this, that means the gradient here and the gradient for this and we say the gradient of this line is gradient 1 and the gradient of this line is gradient 2. What you will find is that gradient 1 multiplied by gradient 2 is negative 1. For example, you might find the gradient of this is negative 1 third and the gradient of this line is 3. When you multiply them, you get negative 1. So when two lines are perpendicular, the 
gradients multiply to give negative 1. The product of their gradients is negative 1. And they are 90 degrees apart. Remember, it's 90 degrees. But you should remember this little symbol to show that they are 90 degrees. Alright? So that's the main difference is between perpendicular lines and parallel lines. Parallel lines have the same gradient. They go in the same direction. Alright? I could do this to say the same direction. But then you can consider them going in opposite direction as well. Right? But the important thing is that their gradients are the same. Parallel lines have the same gradients. The perpendicular lines, when you multiply the gradients, you get negative 1. 